Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online. We are here at Henneth Anun for possibly the last time ever, actually. Um, we have one quest with Legolas, but other than that we have completed everything bar before the battle plane, which is going to require us to go up to here to Aragorn's camp. Other than that, all the quests in this area are completed. There may be one after Legolas's quest, so I'm not entirely sure, but uh, all the side quests, non-epic quests, are completed uh, while, you know, in this area. So before we do get into today's episode and going to Legolas for its instance, we do have our Hobbit gift of the day and of the week. So let's have a quick look at what that's going to be. A massive pile of silver scraps and hopefully something rejuvenation potion. Not terrible, but not amazing as well. Uh, we'll sell that indeed. off quickly to gold. Always nice. And uh, yeah, we'll get into this you know, straight into it, basically. Let so, solo quest and cannot be completed with a fellowship. So I think it was uh, one of those just sort of um, walk-through quests rather than actually having to do much, but we will have a quick look-see. Orcs and Easterlings have set a trap for the host of the West, but now we seek to foil the ambush before it can be sprung. So we're trying to ambush an ambush, almost. That's kind of what I'm saying. So we got Legolas and Gimli. Taken a while. It's been a while since we've seen them, rather. Company Gimli as he quietly dispatches the enemy, en enemy picket. We must maintain our secrecy and remain quiet as we approach. Yeah, I was going to say <laughs> quietly. Very, uh, you know, inverted commas. But Gandalf said he wanted us to make noise. You can't expect me to charge into battle without a battle cry. Well, I'm sure... Where are we? Actually, we're not that far away. Or as well, I'll pick it north of the pass. You and Tavella will need to defeat them silently. Maybe you could whisper your battle cries. <laughs> That'd be quite amusing to hear. Let's find these en enemy pickets quietly. Apparently, I cannot say the word enemy properly today. Don't quite know why. Am I gonna... I'm just gonna have to... Oh, there he is. There you are. Oh, you should also give us... Uh, enemies of Mordor or something, whatever it's called. Grip of Mordor, that's it. Easy quest. So that's the kill 20 enemies quest, which... You know, if we get that done whilst we're just going through here, then... Fair enough. Oh, I like the fact that he is actually whispering it. That is actually quite funny. Well, we've been noticed by two orcs so far, but not by a larger sort of uh, group. Something I actually realized last episode, um, when we were actually like, up here or wherever, we are so close, or were so close, to... Uh, to Aragorn's camp, like, we could have just popped over, because I had to go back for a thumbnail, and then I, uh, realized how very, very close we actually were, um, like, it was really, really, really weird, um, that I didn't notice it otherwise. Oh, hello. Uh, Rangers are in position, and so too are the elves. Now we just need someone to give the signal to attack. Why don't you walk down the road behind and let our enemy know they've been outmaneuvered. The time for stealth is over now. We are ready to launch the attack. Okay. Your attack will signal the rest. So we've gone around, have we? And then we're going... So I'm going to set this. And then I'm going to Heartseeker... Oh no, you've ruined it. You ruined it, Hade! I was gonna do the perfect sneak attack. You know, Heart Seeker into Barb Darren to. Oh, that's upsetting. Right. You're not actually dead, you just disappear, but sure. But uh, I am hoping we get a lot done today. Uh, as you may know, today is episode 499. Uh, next episode is 500. Next episode, there is going to be a decent gap in between episodes, so there will be a few days without anything. Um, because I have a long episode to record and edit and render. But uh, I'm hoping we don't get, um, like, 
hot off anywhere here today, so I'm going to try and do as much as I can, even if it means we have to go a little bit later. Mainly because I don't want to be doing, like, six, eight hours, I don't know how long it's going to be, of another episode, completely forget where I was at this episode and, you know, messed me up. We dispersed our foes, but do you think it was too easy? Uh, don't ever say that to me, that's just really <laughs> makes me doubtful. Uh, I would say yeah, seems a little bit a little bit easy. Um, but at the same time they weren't expecting us, so I can only hope that they were just caught off guard? Maybe? Oh, also, um, oh, oh, where was it, where was it? I'm gonna have to get on my steed, I can't quite remember where someone mentioned it. Um, someone in the comments mentioned that the uh, travel skill for this area exists. Uh, I don't know if we're at the rep for it, and I can't remember who supposedly sells it, but... I assume it's one of the rep people, but I just thought I'd check with the supplier or something. Needs your um... Aid. No. Okay. I just remember- I just remembered, like, off the top of my head that comment saying that in this area there is a travel skill to Hennetha Nun. Uh, I could be completely wrong and have misread it, but I don't know if it's up here. Or more than likely, it's just the uh, where the herbalists are. But I didn't just I just didn't see it somehow. It's very confusing. I wonder if we can actually. Okay, no. I was going to say, is there any way of actually like making our way up via this area? Ooh, we had a very weird. Thought my camera clipped through the wall. Then it looked a little weird, and uh, confused me. So I'm gonna hope then that it's just these guys up here that have the uh, the host of the west guys or was it be you yeah quartermaster that makes sense that would make sense it would be you unidentified third age legendary box nice yes guide to after battle os Gilead. that would be nice to have and guide to henneth anun there we are and then we've also got the return skills, but those are the hour, and it really doesn't make sense for us to have those. So, uh, we're going to have to refresh. I think doing this should refresh it. There we are, after battle of Skiliath and Henneth and Nun. Those could have been very useful in the last few episodes. Right, Aragorn. Is troubled by the ease with which These the things look quite cool. Upset. I think that quite matches with my uh, the rest of my outfit, to be honest. Uh, but we'll probably just get the agility and morale stuff. That is actually quite nice, but obviously our stuff is better for now. Um, I didn't even realize how much vitality was on our gear. Damn, that is impressive. Um, we'll go for that. Um, go obviously, we're not going to do it. And learn what the Rangers know of the road ahead. Bartanaher. That place. Okay. Um, what we'll do is we'll, uh, we will, if I can find my button for it then, uh, use Desperate Flight to get over there quicker. So that should get us there very quick. I also want to, while I'm here, I'm going to go to Aragorn's camp first. Um, mainly because there should be a Stable Master there, I'm pretty sure. Somewhere in here? Yeah, there's a Stable Master, Camp of the Host. So I'm just basically planning if I can go from Henneth Anun to Camp of the Host and like you obviously use the guide I just bought um, that will be good it's also I'm impressed how cheap they were like 20 40 in total um, and we've got hundreds like uh, host of our silver pieces so plus 40 we had 255 50 sorry 251 I can't do math um, yeah it's impressive. Like, I would have expected it to be more expensive. Especially this late into the game. But, um, I guess, you know, it's whatever. As long as I can afford it. I could have afforded it anyway, but... Idea. So technically, this is our first time going into the wastes. Countless members of the Host of the West are camped nearby. Talk to Mithrandir and Damrod at the camp. Gondor needs so there we are. Now we can go straight back to Hennath and Nun. It is quite expensive. That is actually really expensive for how far it is. I completely get why, obviously, but uh, yeah. So yeah, we have this entire 
area available to us now. Aragorn is here if we wanted to talk to him. Uh, and we could technically start book eight now if we wanted to, however. So, okay, so that definitely actually answers what I was going to say. Uh, book eight does start here. So it is book eight, and then we're currently on book seven. Okay. So there's no intermediary, like, book in between that's going to cause us any issues. So Damrod, um, we're going we to help talk to you, I guess. The enemy. And more still to do. talk to you and Mithrandir. Up here. The Dark Lord knows well of our approach. Well, I'd we hope so by now. Learn what manner of crap he has devised okay, so let's Black get Deep. that. We're not going to worry about these quests for now. This is stuff we'll just do later on in time. I do quickly want to talk to Mablong, and then we will head back south uh, to talk to, or go to, uh, this place and sort out everything. I forgot how kind of big this area is. I also forgot how laggy it is. This is probably the worst <laughs> frame rate I've had uh, in a recent time. So... There we are. 300 rep. And a strange howling rings throughout the hills. Interesting. Um, we're also going to have a quick little peek at um, at the... Where are you? Host of the West I Quartermaster. Because the in theory... Okay, no. So you're the same person. So after Battle of Gilead and uh, Henneth Nun, same same guy. We could buy tier 9 relics for 60. That's not bad. Um, I kind of want to buy one of these, but it's really not useful to us. Um, and then we can also buy the Far and Orient Essence Boxes, which is actually kind of nice that you can buy them. Um, but that is stuff we do obviously want to worry about later on in time. For now, we're going to go back and carry on with the actual epic quest, um, which is, you know, we've been very bad at actually doing. So, uh, maybe, I don't, I don't actually know how many more chapters there are, you know, we know by the fact at the end of this book, we go up to there, so I don't think we're very far off, maybe two or three, or even this could be the last one, um, I don't think so, but it, it's like two or three possibly, I think, um, I don't think it'll go up to like chapter 15 like some books have, um, but, yeah, we... We might just try and finish, assuming this book isn't, you know, super, super long. We might just try and finish this book for the day. And then next episode, we'll obviously do uh, episode 500 as part of, you know, going through Angmar. And then after that, we'll have uh, starting in the wastes. But what do we want to do here? What is the plan? Oh, hello. Like let's mention you. Motion you to halt, and his eyes search the sky. The Nazgul are flying above us, out of sight. I feel their presence. Okay. Bragger asks, motions to you, desiring to speak. Find the hidden supply caches and bring them back here. Okay. Um, north, uh, east, and north, and bring them back here, and we can distribute their contents among King Esselar's uh, soldiers. I, for some reason, just. Blanked on saying that word. Again, this is one of those annoying things where we're going to have all these, uh, you know, like, plants around. And the fertile soil also, because we've got that quest uh, running. These aren't very hidden, are they? Um, I mean, these guys, these, these guys are glowing quite a lot, so it's probably quite easy to find five. It's probably a lot more than five as well. Um... Hopefully we don't have to go all the way over to there. That would be a little annoying. There's a war band here. Hopefully we don't have to meet with it. Oh. I'm just looking for supply caches. Calm down. I don't I don't wanna don't wanna fight you. I have to be very careful coming up here. There's one cache. See, these are a little bit better hidden. Just trying to see if I can get close enough that I can see the enemy. So I can kind of... I'm not going to be able to kill it. But I just want to be able to see it so I can kind of gauge how strong it is. 
problem is it is running away from us, so we are going to have to... Oh, there we are. Is that it? Yeah. That's not even that bad. I'm going to try. Honestly, not that difficult seeming. 67k. Yeah, he's got these guys, 45k each, but... If we can take him out, honestly, we don't have to worry about the rest. We can just run away. And not only we've lost Desperate Flight, obviously, but... I mean, for the uh, for the cheap... It's not cheap, but for the, um... The quite easy... Like, box of stuff, or whatever it's called. There we are. And now I just need to run away. <laughs> Yeah, so the red box of Athelion spoils, plus the host of the West Silver Pieces. I mean, that is one of the easy ones. I expected it to be over a million morale, but I'll take that. We've also got a plain heritage rune of legend, which is literally useless to us, but... Well, not literally useless, but pretty much. And then that gives us part of the Warband's quests, I guess. Uh, which we need to... We need to do, because that's part of like the whole overarching deed in this area. But I guess we should have a quick look at what we have got from that. Let's uh, throw away some stuff. Oh, there's an essence box. I didn't realize. 56 marks. Okay, not amazing. But, I mean, I can't expect it to be the best thing in the world, considering 68k XP, or morale, rather. Um, but we did also... We completed Quest of North Ithilien. I also just realized that. That is quite good. So that's what, that was 48 quests or something. Um, so we've now got Ally of North Ithilien in total. Um, as a, as a, a uh, title, that's the word. The soldiers that came with us have become increasingly troubled. Okay, let's go to take the Grip of Mordor off. And let's obviously take this deed off as well. We don't really want that. So what's I up with you? I will die for Gondor if I must. But I do not want to die needlessly. Okay, if this much is fully as I it to be, how can it be the King's Command? How will 6,000 fo- How will 6,000 fallen soldiers of the Black Gate save Gondor? It cannot. It cannot. Courage fails and he looks to you for reassurance. If we do not seek victory, why then must we throw our lives away? Because we do technically still- want victory at the moment. See, this is where this comes in. Henneth and Un. Let us go. <laughs> Makes things a lot, lot easier. Okay. Oh, actually brings us straight into here rather than um, outside, which is what I thought it might do. So let's make our way up. And and oh, I keep getting stuck there. A little bit annoying. And keep getting stuck in there. The moment I look away, I'm like, oh yeah, no, this is easy. You just walk up. I instantly get stuck. It's terrible. Um, and then it gets a winding road, doesn't it? Right, Aragorn. You've been jumping around a lot. Her, my friend? Um... That's called fly high above the clouds and out of sight. They're keeping pace with the host. You tell them, too, that their uh, fierce, fearful presence and the nature of the mission itself is having an effect on his soldiers, sapping them of courage. So now he wants us to go and reassure some soldiers. So... Any more up here? Or are they all going to be down, downstairs? At this point, would it be quicker if I just also uh, just swift travel back? I also just realized... Oh, wait, we got to go down anyway. Um, I also just realized we got some poplar wood out of that, which is quite nice. Right, more soldiers to be reassured. I reassure you, it is all worth it in the end for the for the world in general to survive. Um, it's, yeah, it's a good idea. Right, any up here? Yes, there's at least one. 
And there's one down there. Okay. Right, yo. Last one. Reassure you. And talk to Aragorn once again. Right, yo. Uh, what else do we need to do after that? Maybe give out some. Uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Some rations and stuff. You know, some of those supplies we got. Maybe. Why about if us do something completely different? It's all up to you, isn't it? Thank you for your efforts, my friend. Okay. Uh, let's move forward on the road more north of the border of Dorgaland. We'll establish a camp at the woods edge and make ready for the final march uh, to Mordor. I'll speak to you at the camp at the border of, of Dorgalad when we arrive. So he just wants us to head up to the camp of the host. Okay. These are troublesome times That's why indeed. we went there earlier. So we could do this. Okie dokie. See that saved us so much time. Yes, it used a little bit of money, but it was well worth it in my opinion to uh, just come in here and spend a little time. So we are close to the black land of Mordor. There we are. While I was waiting for that to load, I quickly had a look. Um, it turns out that this... As long as we can. Sorry, I'm just completely interrupting you. You could have probably made sense of it from the fact it's giving us a lot of stuff. This is actually the last quest of book number seven. Um, so after this, we'll probably finish off for the day. Um, next episode, we'll obviously do the Angmar stuff, and then we'll get started on book eight and the Mordor stuff. So uh, we've also today completed the quest of Ithilien um, or North Ithilien deed so we don't really have to go back and do all that stuff so that's quite good uh, and hopefully now we're going to start getting stuff that outlevels us uh, stuff like a new cloak which is also you know good we lose a bit of fate but I mean we're getting a vitality and uh, thing boost plus we can put a fate thing on it um, so these are hopefully going to be quite good for us you know we're starting getting into uh, better tier stuff now even though we're level 112 you know, it, a lot of the stuff we're getting is still 105 or actually level 100 stuff um, at the moment. So we need to talk to Mincham and Faeron at the uh, border. So, oh, they're actually behind us. Okay. I will do as Aragorn commands, though it bring us onto the blasted plain. Well, I mean... At least all these guys are pretty, you know, they may be like, ah, oh, yeah, I don't want to be here, but at least they're not deserting or running away and, you know, they're going, ah, well, I'm going to do it anyway. Be warned, there will not be much cover on the plains of Dagolad. I can kind of see that, it's very barren. Um, and then we have Langlas over here to talk to. Wait a moment, if you would. Removes a small packet from within the folds of his cloak and hands it to you. Uh, Minchan tells me that you and Faron will be leaving to scout the slag hills of Dagolad in advance of the host. This will be dangerous for there's a little cover on the battle plane. Take this packet of herbs with you. It will be given to me by Mad. Uh, it was given to me by Mad uh, Mandan before the ship's dog to ha uh, Harland, and I have been carrying around since then as a memento for Mandan fell upon Pelennor. The herbs within a foul-smelling one burned, which was true of most of Mandan's. Altices. To speak honestly, if you need to draw the attention of the enemy, it might serve you well. I want you to have it. If Mandau's gift can help you this day, he would want it as well. well that's that's kind of cool. Just a sort of distraction thing. It isn't a physical inventory slot, so I guess it will it will come up when it needs to be. I don't know why there's such a big circle for Aragorn being here, but he's important, I guess. So why not? I trust you, Phyron, and Minkhan, as I would trust no others. Okay, talk to Aragorn and scout the Slag Hills. So this is just one last instance, Remember, uh, or solo quest. Do not get too close to the Black Gate. I I will hopefully try not to, uh, but this will be it for the day. After we're done with this, I will not lead the host of the West into Dagalard without knowing what awaits us. I have sent trustworthy friends to scout before us on the battle plain. So we are yeah, we're like about halfway there. You know, the blank gate's here, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> um, but I mean, if we just 
go into F3 for a moment. Or F3. Um, into all this. This place is very different from a lot of the places we've been recently. Even if it's been a little bit dark, it's been very... You know, it's still had a bit of life to it. <laughs> this definitely doesn't feel like it. Gathering of Evil. Okay, so that's just... Indeed for coming to this area. It's kind of weird actually finally being here. It's been such a long journey. Right, Mincham, Talalad, we don't have much time. From the top of the ridge I could see a good distance. I marked the movement of many orcs crawling hither and yonder uh, across the plain, but near at hand a grand tower hisses or rises from the rocks and spies the approach. I know the place from Aragorn's map. It is Narcost, one of the towers of the teeth. Once the orcs returns, the opportunity will be lost. Okay, so we need to get to an area before orcs attack it. If only you guys were quicker. Yeah, honestly, I love those cinematics. Absolutely adore them. Um, or is it a little annoying because this little this little icon just stays there during them? But oh, I do, I do love them. Um, so, Faerun, make your way to the upper level of Narcos and do not be seen by any of your foes. So, if there's only if only there's a way to draw the guards off and path without being seen, how about I have this thing to burn some herbs and then we run this way I don't know if it's all of them but I do love the fact that the, some of these enemies are uh, are named I don't know if all of them will be but at least some of them are better than it just being orc Something smells delicious. Really? Really, guys? Oh. The silent one. So I'm hoping... That we just go this way. Yeah, because otherwise we could go the other way and go round, but by the time... He's probably back. I don't know how long it holds them. Could be forever. It could only be for like 30 seconds sort of thing. Um, I'd rather not be said. The rangers move quickly. You're going to be done with this evil place. Do you hear that? Voices ahead. Fulak and uh, Krogaf Thorenda. I hear foul mountains ahead and know them. For they, what they must be, the vile black speech used by the cre creatures of Mordor. It is the language I learned to understand, but the study pained my ears and my heart both. Let's move closer and I'll try and translate the words for you and Faron. Remain out of sight. We must not be noticed or I fear we will not leave this tower alive. Good plan. I'm going to turn on walk mode. We're totally not in view right now. It's fine. I don't know what you're on about. 
Moldanku bersangsur. Moko satam fikars. Narzul fluk uglat syah vukal. Klarus hasagum bus nagul. Sobat, histos utum u. Nagas prak sobat tar kushtar. Talmubisk arzan agnazdgash. Nar, gothburs nargat oshtar osgur op ukordan. Sky! Molza! Krompo mi som. Rund lav šaut. Šok vugach uh upad dor asu. Ngoth bur sa kim baklatta. Sand below and the uh, signals the return of orcs. We need to leave. I agree. Let's go. <laughs> Quickly. <laughs> okay, we're back. They want us to approach. Fair enough. I mean, I kind of get it. Um, again, I just love those cinematics. I'm just kind of stuck on it. Ugh, I kind of just want to replay that. I hope that's replayable. Just simply. So I can replay that, <laughs> that whole thing. Um, maybe get one without this uh, running in the background. I'm right. Glad you have returned in safety. So we're going to get a essence box, grant the trumpet emote, uh, a vial of ember extract, and a cloak. Uh, to be continued in volume, uh, volume four, book eight, the Black Gate. Uh, so that is what we'll be starting. In a little while, again, we have 500, or episode 500 to come since then. But we'll kick up... I think they all look the same. Maybe not. That's actually kind of cool. No, so this is the one we'll end up choosing then. Um, just because, again, it is stat-wise the best for us. Um, even if we do lose a little bit of fate. The only hope of victory lies with Frodo. And then we, we have this have quest here. Play. We're going to actually not accept it mainly because i want to keep as many active quest slots open as i can um while i'm doing stuff in angmar just so i can do as many quests as possible at the same time um i'm aware of what book i need to be on uh, what quest i need to do and stuff like that because we've just completed book seven by the way we just completed book seven that's amazing um we're now in <laughs> technically in the well the waste we're not quite in mordor yet but um or are we? I don't know if it counts. Does it count? Because according to this map, then in theory this counts. I mean, I guess only in here counts as Mordor. So yeah, not quite in Mordor, just on the outskirts. Um, it's been a, a bit a long time getting here, actually. It's really weird to finally be here. And this will actually be... Obviously, some of these, most of these quests are actually the first time I'm ever doing them. Like, it's the first time I've ever done that quest. And this entire book, uh, book seven, I've never done. And I don't even think I did book six. Um, some of this stuff I've done, a majority of it, I haven't done in Mordor. I've done, like, up till the black book. I haven't done anything past then, uh, really. Maybe one or two quests. So, it's all going to be a lot of new stuff for me. Uh, but I'm still going to be somewhat familiar, which is going to be really nice. And I'm not going to be dying straight away, because I'm not going it in at 105. Um, with not even great gear for a 105. I'm going to be going as 112. Uh, 112. Uh, at level 112. With... Uh, semi-decent gear. We might need to do some gearing up before we go in, but I'll look into that because I just don't want to die. Um, but that is going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Again, there will be a break in between uh, this and the next episode of this series. Um, episode 49 of the Legendary series will be out next channel on the video. There'll be a break, then 500 will come out, and then 50 after that. Um, and then things should start getting back on regular track after that so uh yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll see you then Bye bye